Hi, this is Shaintini and I've come to the Pink Villa office and I'm really, really excited to be here. Uh, it's my first visit to the Pink Villa office and I'm already liking it. It's a pretty cool setup. So yeah, looking forward to my, my this interview with Pink Villa. Well, I always say this in all my interviews that, you know, I, I am a performer and I, the passion is acting. So I'm not here to be like a one show actor or two show actor, you know, I mean, I, I love my job. So I think that's the fire and that's the drive that keeps me going, you know. As you said, I've been here for almost uh, another year, it'll be 15 years, so I'm into, onto my 14th year now. But that hunger in me is always there. I don't feel okay, you know, it's happened. I don't feel the sense of being complacent at any point and uh, I guess that's what keeps me going because I, I love acting, so I'm a performer and I'm just not here to be one show wonder or a one show star. So I guess that love keeps me going. See, I guess, you know, <clears throat> any medium or anything, it, it kind of changes with time and so has uh, television. Uh, when I entered TV in, Bom in Mumbai, it was 2006 and TV I think commercially was at its peak, you know, with all the K-series doing so well. So I've seen that genre, I've seen that time, then then came, you know, then I did Nagin in, in back in 2008. Then there was a little stint of the supernatural that happened, then the mythological shows there was a wave of such shows and the non-fiction took up so i think see i think change is the biggest constant and the biggest truth in life so uh, yes while we do miss uh, you know certain kind of shows but i think uh, where tv stands right now we are kind of balancing it out there are meaningful shows which the fraternity is offering to the audience there are also the shows uh, which are has the mass appeal like Nagin which I'm doing uh, there are non-fiction content and I, I guess it's kind of striking the right balance at this point in time well very honestly when uh, you know Balaji approached me for Nagin I wasn't very sure because you know I've been the Nagin of the first Nagin of Indian television so I was like why revisit something which I've already done how, how excited would I be to do that but uh, you know when they na uh, narrated the entire story to me of Nagin season 4 and my character Manita uh, the entire season kicks off with Marnita's revenge. So it was such a power-packed role and of course given uh, the huge success of Balaji's Nagin franchise and who wouldn't want to work with Ekta. So there were a lot of reasons for me to say yes and I'm so happy I, I did this season because as I said the entire season began with me. So in terms of visibility it really really worked for me. And uh, well the first day of shoot was in Mumbai. It, um, it was with Jasmine and uh, who was playing the role of Nayantara. So both of us, we, we really had lots of fun, but obviously when you're doing the first day, you take some time to kind of settle in. But what was exciting is the outdoor that followed after that, you know, uh, it was as an actor, as a performer, a really challenging outdoor. We went to Jaisalmer for five days and, you know, all extreme temperatures, you know, obviously being the desert area, it was very hot in the days. Uh, we did a song sequence at night, it was very cold at night, where I had to be literally slithering around and lying around and dancing on the sand. Uh, you know, Ranjan ji, who was the director on board for Nagin, was my director as well back in 2008. And there was a reunion of sorts with Charlene happening. So, and as I said, as a performer, I was really, really pushed, which I'm very happy about because, you know, you're always looking out for those challenges. So overall, yeah, it was it was a great start to, to the season. Well, to begin with, you know, Nia and Jasmine, they're all very sweet people, you know, and, um, you know, they're always so respectful of, uh, uh, you know, their co-actors and their colleagues around. And yeah, I mean, I love dancing, so it's always been my forte. And uh, you, uh, before the dance sequence that Nia and me we did, she'd already done a solo dance sequence. So she was also at it, you know, that she wanted this one to be better than the other, uh, the, the last one. So that's the good thing about our cast, you know, we are always, uh, we are always pushing each other to do it better the next time. So when both of us got together, I remember I was shooting that day and uh, Nia came post shoot, she wanted to rehearse. I also packed up and I rehearsed with her. But we were really helping each other out in whichever possible way and, you know, uh, and it's very sweet, you know, when, when I put the video up on social media, she was, uh, you know, the way she appreciated me on, on the public, public platform on Instagram. It was really sweet of her, you know, because uh, generally people have this notion that, you know, co-actors, especially female actors, can never be appreciative of the, because there's a jealousy factor working. But nothing of that sort, you know, and I think she's an amazing talent. And yeah, I mean, together we've been bonding very well. We keep on having as much fun as we can behind the camera. So, yeah. See, of course, uh, of course, yeah, I mean, see, with every uh, show you kind of bond and there are this couple of shows where you bond more. Now, Sanjeevni was one show where the entire team again bonded very well. Sarveen Amit, there was Rohit, there was Samunish Chino, and there was Gurdeep. 
so again there was a fine balance of you know us and then Monish ji he's such a veteran so we were all looking forward to that journey and Survi again she's a sweetheart you know she's such a bundle of energy so when you're shooting with Survi there is no you can't have a moment where you're feeling dull because even if you do feel dull she's added to bring the spirits and the energies up but like you said that yes you know I've always uh, touch would have always more often than not bonded with uh, my co-stars be it male or female uh, the females yes as we keep going back to it because people have that notion that we don't uh, bond but I guess that's what happens with actors you know uh, who are looking uh, you know they're approaching work to you know, in, in a very professional way they're wanting to better their craft and somewhere they're secure you know so when you're secure within you really don't feel insecure with who's around you rather take it up as a challenge if somebody is there around and you feel that you know the person has a certain amount of experience or a certain amount of potential rather than going the route of feeling jealous and envious about it you kind of uh, take that positively up and try and push yourself and do you know better yourself so I think that's what happens at least with me that's what's happening you know when I meet Nia or I meet Surbi uh, you know I, I kind of always get inspired by you know their energies and there's so much to learn from them and I, I think vice versa when they, they kind of meet with me because I have began my journey so early though in terms of age there's not much of a difference but yeah because I've began uh, my journey in television much uh, earlier so they always kind of try and you know whatever learn from my my amount of experience so there's always that apart from the mutual admiration club there's also the mutual evolving and learning process which I think is beautiful see I think after working for so many years you kind of realize that the no 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 matter how much you want the result result in a certain way it's not in our hands what is in our hands to do our job uh, but having said that there are those as I said I mean, every show is dear to me but then there are those shows which you look up to you know and Sanjeevni has been such a cult show it's been such a brand and ever since uh, you know it was announced even before we came on air there was so much of buzz around the show so t from the word go there was pressure and there was expectation which we were fully aware of but as I said you know at times uh, things don't go uh, the way they are planned few journeys don't reach the desired destination you do feel bad, you know, because as I said, it was a good show to associate with. It was a great team, great cast, the creatives, our producers, Siddharth Malutha, and the, the beautiful ensemble cast that we had. So all of us were really, really enthused about the fact that we want the season to work. But at times it doesn't. Now, there could be 10,000 reasons. We can always sit and analyze that. But then I guess that's a part and parcel of our, uh, you know, of our industry. At times things don't go according uh, the way they're planned so you just learn from your mistakes and you move on I mean that's all we can do we we just can't sit and sulk about it you feel bad but then you move on in life no no it was never in the in the planning at all see I come from a very quintessential middle class family where academics was always the focus and I was very good in my studies though my family wanted me to be a doctor but um, uh, I mean I wanted to study the chemistry or psychology so that was and journalism so I had this choice of this three three subjects that I wanted to do but finally I studied literature uh, it just happened you know I guess the profession just chose me uh, in the sense see I was always into dancing and all not that I learned dancing but a lot of cultural activities and being in uh, Kolkata and Bengal there are a lot of dance dramas that happen so a certain uh, certain connection or attraction towards creative thing was always there but it's only after my 12 that you know just by chance I happened to participate in Miss Calcutta back in 2003 and I became the first runner-up and it was like a chain thing from that I started getting modeling offers from modeling offers I got telephones when I got my telephone I didn't even know whether I'll be able to do it because I had no idea about acting at all uh, when I was doing my telefilm I got spotted and I, I did my first Bengali film and from there four Bengali films and then Mumbai again was a chance you know I was on to my fourth film and I just happened to come to Mumbai just for a short visit and um, I got to know you know my first show which was called Kumkum on Star Plus they were going for Generation Leap and they were wanting the fresher cast the younger lot to come in so uh, somebody told me why don't you just come in audition so I said okay I'll just audition and go back to Calcutta it's just I wanted to see how work is done in Mumbai I auditioned and I went back to Cal that's when I got the call saying that you're finalized I said but hang on it's not that easy I have my graduation to complete I have my movies on floor and I don't know whether I want you know, even if you're doing regional films you were doing films so that question is always there do you want to do TV so I said okay you know you know I've never been away from home as a child I was always pretty protected and shielded I said okay let's just you know let's just explore life 
So the idea was never to become an actor. I just came to Mumbai. I said, okay, let's just see. Let's just take each day as it comes. And I just stayed back. Maybe for a slight moment, or you know, but the percentage of the consideration was very less because, as I said, I was very young. So I really had no plan in my mind that oh, you know, this is the plan. You should do movie and not enter TV. So even before I realized I was into the profession, which I think th thankfully for me worked in my favor because I wasn't thinking so much. I a I wanted to step out of my house, you know. I wanted to explore life. I was never away from home or my parents or my or Kolkata. So I wanted to get out of the protected environment and you know just deal with life on my own. So here was an opportunity to do that, and I said it's okay, you know. As I said, the plan was never to settle on as an actor. I said let me just do it. Let me just gain some experience. We'll see where it heads. So because I entered with that thought process, it never really occurred to me. Oh, I'm doing movies, and why are you doing TV? Uh, when it did occur that you know should i have given a chance to a movie a couple of years later but by the time i had already made a mark for myself in tv and i always say this in all my interviews that i'm a very proud flag bearer of the television industry because i think it's an amazing industry to be part of you're feeding there's so many uh, you know technical people working there's so many people working behind the scenes so it's there's so much of so many people running their houses out of tv it's a huge medium very i have a lot of respect for our medium because uh, you look at present time, any big movie, anything that's being launched, people are coming to hoardings. Lagte nahi hai. Mere bachpan mein used to see the big big hoardings of the movies. Now people are coming and integrating with TV shows because that is the reach of the TV medium. So I am very proud of uh, me being a part of the TV TV industry. Yes, if movie happens, I'm not saying I'll ever do movies organically. If it happens, well and good. But I don't think I'm the one sorts who will say, okay, now let's put stop to TV. Now let's go try movies uh, again I come back to the initial statement with which I began my interview that I'm a performer so for me the medium really doesn't matter whether it's TV now of course we have web uh, there is movies as far as it's good work I'm always excited about it hi I'm Shrantini and I had this amazing interview with Pingvilla if you like this video please like share and subscribe to Pingvilla